Hello and welcome to Chakra News and to Hot Takes, where we look at what's trending, what the buzzwords are, and what people want to know. And I have with me my colleague, Colonel Anurag Avasti. We're going to be talking about the Semiconductor Complex Limited fire on the 7th of February, 1989. Colonel Avasti, tell us what you know about this mysterious fire that turned the SCL complex into toast. Okay, uh, Sandy, thank you firstly on the hot takes. Uh, I'll go back, you know, there's a lot of chatter. There are yeah. a lot of people who are talking about things that, you know, what India didn't do and right, you know right. why we did not do this and that and all of that. See, the, uh, the, the you know, if you look at things chronologically, mm. uh, the Indian semiconductor policy was conceived as early as 1976. Right. And uh, 1976, just about uh, 15 or 16 years after the first semiconductor was uh, apparently and only five or six years after the war, the right. 1971 war. So right. that is very important. You know, we that is early a, beginners. We were quick very starters. Very. And uh, yeah, this is something uh, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. So and, and you know, semiconductor complex uh, yeah. in Mohali was established in 1983. Lo right. and behold, right. uh, the, you know, global behemoth when you're talking about TSMC, yes. uh, you know, it was established in 1987 by Maurice right. Chang. Right. So right. as it is, we were early starters insofar as the semiconductor. Oh, we were ahead of the Taiwanese in oh, yes. establishing, uh, you know, uh, four years ahead. Semiconductor. Yeah. Four that, years. That's, <laughs> but four years to ahead. imagine now, you know, when 2025 when uh, TSMC accounts for more than 50% of global chip output. To think that, yeah. 60? 60. <laughs> so, so like, see, yeah. uh, you know, what happened was that 1976, your semiconductor policy yes. came into being. 83, the semiconductor mm. complex came into being. Right. And that is the time you were making 64K DRAMs. Right. That is the dynamic random access to memory chips right. at that so, juncture. you know, explain to our viewers what that means. I mean, uh, it's, essentially, uh, uh, you know, not going into too much of a, uh, you know, tech mm. jargon, uh, you were a year or two behind the global majors at that time. That, that, that close. About, that close right, in 1983. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, all this went on well mm. till uh, 1989 and that fateful day of 7th February of 1989. When so, there what was happened a fire. really? That fire is it's bizarre. It's uh, People seem to have investigated it. And one thing I picked out was apparently that the uh, fire started at multiple points simultaneously yes. in the yes, facility. Yes. That's so just there sabotage. Are, see, right? Sandeep, there are a lot of theories there. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say that it was uh, accidental. Right. Uh, a lot of people say it was sabotage. Mm. A lot of people say, you know, it, it was a handiwork of a couple of miscreants who were uh, a part of the system yeah. or not a part of the system. But, you know, be that as it mm. may, it, it set you back as a country by around two decades. Two decades. Two That's decades. the time you lost. That's the time you lost. Right. And see, you know, again, we, a lot of people gloss over a lot of major landmarks as yeah. we speak, you know. Uh, 1989, this happens. Yeah. Uh, 1991, you open the economy. Right. right. The liberalization right. happens. Right. Uh, right. Of course, and, and a growing economy needs a chips. A growing economy needs chips. Right. And then that is a time when you don't have the required. And, yes. you know, uh, uh, there, there's another school of thought which says, which is a classic business school of thought, that right. uh, what is the point of making something here for 10 rupees if you can get it outside in the global market for 2 rupees? The, the, the right. world is flat. Uh, the world is flat. Business school so, analogy. Right. Yes. So it didn't make any business case. Right. But then, you know, see, uh, then... The, the problem is that between the intervening period of 1989 mm. to 1997, right. it was an absolute stalemate. Nothing happened. Right. It was a policy paralysis. You mean even at SCL? Yes. So the semiconductor complex got yeah. re-Christianed as a semiconductor laboratory as late as 1997. Right. So that's a lot of time where a lot of people wanted uh, to do a lot of things, but nothing happened. Right. So I'm not blaming people there in hmm. power or the governments in place or what have you. But the issue is you did not act the way you had to act. Right. And then there was a divestment uh, drive, which was launched by the then government right. in the year 20, 2000, right. I think 2K. Uh, at the you know turn of the millennium, but yes. it didn't fructify right. for a simple reason that there were an issue with the bidders or there was an issue with the amount of investment. Right. Is that right? Right. So by the time all this happened, hmm. the semiconductor complex now rechristened as the semiconductor laboratory moved into the ambit of the Department of Space. Right. So since then, it hmm. has been making uh, great products, great right. chips, but essentially for the strategic sector. Right. Space, right. 
defense and right. aerospace and all of that which is not bad and what would be the size of these chips in terms uh, of right nanometers right now i think their node is around 180 nanometers 180 that is nanometers. what it is and tsmc is what down to about 2 or 3 now i think see sandeep we, we, we cannot get into the you know nanometer right. paradigm for yes. a simple reason that you know you have to cater to your market right. right so you are not looking at uh, mm. you know 2 nanometers and 5 nanometers yeah. because they are you're uh, looking at the mass production yeah so they, their applicability is to very very niche segments right. which right. and the population is less which you can yes. buy off the shelf yes. so your markets are you know your your industrial equipment your right. market is automotive yeah. your market is wearables right. your market is uh, you know uh, a lot of other things which are right. there in place mm -hmm. which require uh, you know homegrown chips now uh, be that as it may, this government, I think I have to give full marks to this government right. uh, that it recognized this. Mm. And in the December of 2021, the India Semiconductor Mission was yeah. launched. Uh, interestingly, if you mm. look into the basic uh, you know, aspects of the India Semiconductor Mission, modernization of SCL is also a part of it. Right. So they're conscious of the fact that yes. you need to fix that of original course. thing. And, and of course, the Prime Minister announced that on the 15th of August yes. uh, from the ramparts of the Red Fort, where yes. he said that we're going to have the first made in India chip yes. out by the end of this year, 2025. Is that a reasonable deadline? Yeah, that's a reasonable deadline. Right. You see, uh, now... Uh, this policy uh, came out in uh, the December of 2021, right. got tweaked sometime in the October of 2022. Right. And as I always tell everybody, there's something called the competitive federalism. You suddenly see in the last three to four years, That's every right. state every coming state out is, with a policy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now there's competition. There's competition. People there's are competition vying for good. it, that I yeah. want this, I want this. It's, right. it's the same story right. which happened right. elsewhere in the world. Yes. And today, lo and behold, in less than uh, you know three and a half years, right. you have a fabrication facility coming up at Dolera. Right. You have CG Power and Renesis yes. coming up as a packaging facility in yes. uh, Sanand. Mm. You have uh, Micron coming right. up in Sanand. You have Keynes coming up in yeah. Sanand. Yeah. You have the uh, Tata again coming up all the way in, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Assam. Right. And four of them, you know, which include Odisha, Punjab and Andhra Pradesh have just been, uh, you know, sanctioned in the last week. Yes. Insofar yes. as, you know, substrates are concerned, right. uh, you know, Discrete semiconductors are mm. concerned, glass is concerned, various other things. Right, so, right. so we are actually uh, catching up now. We, we, catching we up. lost two decades, like you mentioned. Yeah, we did. But then, right. you know, uh, the, the, see, the one issue is that a lot of people are now ranting. You've yeah, seen a lot yeah. of, you know, uh, you know, people saying even on the social media that you should have done this, you should have done that. Right. But then, you know, well begun is half done. Well begun is half done indeed. And, so, uh, you know, I was just looking at the, what was the cost of the uh, uh, the uh, damage uh, to uh, the um, SCL facility in 89? In how many? 60 crores is what 60 it crores. was then in 1989. Imagine what that cost would be today, Sandeep. I mean, it's, it's, it's astronomical, yeah, the but kind of... Uh, yeah, but you know, look at how much we are actually paying for that yes. damage. You know, I was just looking at the figures in 2024, India in imported semiconductor chips worth $20 billion. Yeah. That's 1.7 lakh crore. And these imports are increasing at 18% every year. Yeah, in my previous organization, when we, uh, we were a part of writing the India Semiconductor Market Report, you'll be mm -hmm. shocked to know that as per all metrics right. and the way we are growing, we are supposed to be a $103 billion market of semiconductors by 2030. You mean we're going to be importing chips worth $100 billion? Some import, some by that time we'll right. be making something right. uh, in which, whichever manner. But you know, see, you, you're 1.4 billion people. Yes. Your consumption metrics are Absolutely. so huge. That's a lot so of smartphones and yeah. refrigerators. And everything. <laughs> I mean, from as I always say, from safety razors to space shuttles. Right. right. Everything's going to be powered by a chip. But, you know, hypothetically, coming back to the fire, I mean, this is fascinating. This this kind of, uh, you know, this uh, lends itself to so many conspiracy theories, theories. and uh, OTT uh, episodes. I'm sure somebody's already writing it as we speak. But this SEL fire... Uh, in your estimation, what is the cost to India? That one fire, which you said is about 70 crore, it cost us 70 crore. But the downstream impact of that in terms of time lost, chips, uh, chip technology lost, yes. you know, all of that. Yes. How many thousands of crores are you talking of? In oh, terms of lots, lots. I mean, I, I would not be able to you know, put a price tag on that. Right. But all I can tell you is that I think in my personal view, we... we we set up back behind by around two decades. Two decades and minimum. 
hundreds of billions of dollars yeah. worth of thing and of course the no why and the know how uh, yeah. is something that's inestimable yes. but then you see you it's all about timing right yeah. you you start early you have a you know calamity like this right. suddenly you open the economy yes. then there is no business case right. then suddenly you realize there's covid right. and then you know the government is itself uh, so pragmatic mm. that it wakes up it says no look you if you if you've got to be you know you are an amrit kal yeah. and you're going to be you know calling yourself the vishva guru then right. you might as well be atmanirbhar in so far as the chips Absolutely. are concerned be atmanirbhar but you've visited scl yes i have what what was it like i mean what's it like now i mean it's clearly not a, a, a Uh, 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 you know a fire uh, hazard or anything like that what's the uh, thing see i in? have visited scl and a lot of uh, facilities right. abroad also but see the whole idea is not looking at a swanky facility right. when you visit uh, there's so many of them being made now as yes. we speak yes the issue is that scl still remains a repository mm. of data it still remains a repository of talent right and it's a public sector enterprise yes. and since it has moved under the ministry of electronics and it in mm. i think the early part of 2023 Uh, uh a lot of things have uh, happened there right. which uh, are going to be galvanizing a lot of things right. so far as the overall semiconductor story of this country right. is concerned right. so that is more important so mm. we are not looking at uh, some cutting edge uh, you know uh, technologies or something very out of the line you know yeah. where you feel that you know you you entered some kind of a great uh, you know uh, 21st century or 22nd century facility right. that's not the right. idea right. but still it has the where with all to guide a lot of destiny in so far as the indian semiconductor story is concerned that right, is one right. the second it can harness talent yeah. that it still has thirdly it has a lot of people who have now moved out of the system right. they can be employed gainfully right. as we climb up the the semiconductor ladder right as we climb up the semiconductor ladder and in fact uh, what you just said is 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 a uh, a metaphor for the india story itself we fall down here uh, you know we dust ourselves and we are back in the race and i think the really the, the the phoenix here. the phoenix was this, i think here not in egypt ah the phoenix of course <laughs> the phoenix the, stories the phoenix uh, the story of the legendary phoenix and india has risen once again as we hope it will with oh, this yes. new uh, set of uh, fabs that we've set up 10 of them and we are soon going to have our own indigenous chips by 2025 and of course uh, these will get more and more sophisticated as the years go by and that fire is hopefully going to be uh, a memory uh, in the years to come a bitter memory but a memory all the same but uh, uh, thanks very much uh, kanal avasti for you know uh, illuminating me on there are so many things i really don't know and i get so much of uh, knowledge from you and for those of you watching this you must follow kanal avasti's writings uh, he's one of india's foremost semiconductor gurus he uh, is one of the very few people who knows Uh, a lot about semiconductors and chips i mean he eats them for breakfast and he writes them in his columns you should follow That's his right kind of <laughs> writings That's and right kind of follow him on uh, cutting edge which is his uh, podcast on chakra news but uh, for those of you watching thank you very much for joining us and stay tuned for more hot takes